Uh, this is a little quick start guide for um, IC Control's DO rental unit that uh, measures beer. Um, so first I'm just going to go through what um, comes in the unit. So you have your, your meter here, which has your inlets and your outlets. And your inlet is a nice quick disconnect fitting for um, ease of use. This is your piercing device that pierces the can. And then this over here is a nitrogen tank, which is 99.99% pure to um, avoid any introduction of excess oxygen, which will push the beer through the sipping tube assembly through the unit to give you your measurements. A um, couple uh, tips are um, the best way to do to do this is um, make sure you wear your safety, safety equipment, such as uh, goggles, which I have. And um, another good tip is that if you can put this actual unit in a refrigerator and cool it to the sample of what your beer is, you will get your results a lot faster. So, well, uh, what we want to do here is you want to line your, your can or bottle, can upside down, right into the middle of where this black rubber seal is, and that is uh, the piercing device. And then what you're going to do is there's a couple lock plates here, so you're going to push those in, lower it down. So it's in place and then what you do is you want to hold those again and a quick little force till so it pierces it. You'll hear it pierce, let go, but it holds in place. And as you see, or maybe not, there's a bit of beer flowing through there right now. What you do and then you want to slide this sipping tube down without too much force and being careful not to puncture the other side of the can. And then you want to turn on your nitrogen tank, set. To 0 0.25 milliliters per minute. So we'll open that and then you have to open another valve here which is going to open the nitrogen flow into the can and then another valve over here which will allow your beer to flow through. And as you can see it's coming through here running through. And now your drain line should be either into a bucket or a sink for the excess waste. And you'll be able to see once the, uh, all the beer has been purged through, you'll be able to see air coming through here. Now, in order to get accurate results, what you want to do is you want to use a few burner cans. In other words, you're going to prime the system, which you're going to put a can or two through, which is going to put all your beer through, and uh, purge any air that is already in there from previous use. And then, basically when you're done, you're going to go through it backwards. You're going to, once you see air, you'll turn off this valve, which is your um, on-off flow valve for the meter. And then turn off your nitrogen valve, and then turn off your nitrogen tank. So we'll run through that. Once the beer has already flowed through, which is still going. Now and there now. I think all the all the beer is going through. I'm getting a zero reading on there, which is basically showing it's pushing nitrogen. So what you want to do is you turn this off and close that. And then to release your can, you would lift up your sipping tube, release your lock plates, and pull it up. And there might still be a little bit of pressurized pressurized air inside the can, but it shouldn't uh, cause too much of an issue. And that's it.